morning everyone it's road trip day so Kelvin and I are driving from LA to Vegas uh, which is very exciting I have my stuff here we gotta start loading up the car let's go ahead finish packing loading up the car let's go all right we have my car loaded up filled to the brim not really we still have lots of room <laughs> um, this huh, stuff room is for a special video you guys will see coming out soon lots but uh yeah, so your favorite couple heads Lots to Vegas. Let's go. Okay, everyone, so we're on the road. We just left, it's been about five minutes. So we're gonna head to get some food first. Um, we're gonna get cinch and bows. Cinch and bows. Pronunciation. All right, you can say it. How is the correct way to say it? Cinch and bows. Sounds the same. Sounds the same. But it's close, close enough, it's yeah. recognizable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there we go. Cinch and bows. But um, it's one of Calvin's favorite uh, Chinese dishes. Um, it's what? How to describe it? I mean, we've already had it before, but in case you it's haven't like, seen um, the vlogs before, we only had it once. There are these like little buns that are pan fried, so the bottom is like really crispy, and the top becomes like really fluffy. Um, it's usually topped a little bit of like sesame seed and like uh, green onion, and then inside, that's where like the real deal is. Magic. But basically, inside is some like sort of like brown meat so like you know just if you have like normal Chinese buns before they'll have some sort of filling but along with that filling they also have soup inside so when you soup. so when you bite into it because like the outside is like really crispy and solid and dense it holds it all in and when you bite into it you get this like rush of like delicious brothy liquid it's so good it's so good uh First, like Kevin showed me pictures, and I was like, "This doesn't look special." But then once I actually got them, I was like, "Dang, dang, these are so good." Yeah. So I'm a believer of these Sinjin bows now. Um, and they're a uh, what is it, Northern Chinese dish? Yeah. 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 Okay. So comment down below if y'all you, know, you have like a Chinese like heritage background, um, or if you're Chinese, and have you tried this before? And if you have. What do you think? Are they Dope. yummies? So are good. They yummies? I think they're so good. I don't know a single person that thinks they're bad, to be honest. Yeah, I can't see how you know they're just so like yeah, you have everything. You have soft, crunchy, soupy, beefy, or like pork, like pork. And so, oily. And oily, yeah. It's outside it's pretty oily, but um, yeah, we're gonna place the order in probably like ten minutes just to for a couple minutes since um, it does take a while for them to make. They make it like on spot. They can't just sit there because the soup. More soup. importantly though, fall quarter is done. Woo! So happy, Holy yeah. This was, yeah, tell them about like your quarter, how you thought it was. For me, All right. you go first actually, you go first. So basically, week 10, so that's like the last week of instruction. But week 10, I had a homework assignment due on Wednesday. I had another assignment due on Friday, I had a lab due Sunday night. The following next morning at 8 a.m., I had a computer science final. Right after that final, literally like 20 minutes after, I had another computer science final. And then on Wednesday, I had a lab due, and also an 8 a.m. final. And then on Friday, I had another 8 a.m. final, capped off with a final project due at night. And then just yesterday, I finished up a lab. A lot of work. Yeah, we'll talk about it later since I know some of you have actually asked some questions since we're gonna be taking some questions later once we're like in the middle of nowhere in the desert. But um, yeah, Kelvin's had a rough quarter. This is definitely like, that 10 days was probably like the most work I've ever had in my entire life. That's about right. Yeah, it was pretty rough. But it's done. Yay! And I hopefully never have to do that again. Yeah. It was definitely the hardest quarter for Kelvin. It wasn't one of my hardest quarters, I'd say. I've definitely had harder quarters than the You definitely quarter. can't say it's your hardest quarter. Yeah, I've definitely had harder quarters. Like, I don't know, this quarter's just such a drag. I mean, I've already mentioned it before in like previous driving vlogs. I was telling you to just start your drag. paper like two weeks in advance. And guess who still does them the day before? Two days before. Because you had two papers. Yay! And the first day, you worked for about two hours and you fell asleep. Okay, that was actually the third day. I worked for two days straight pretty well. Okay. Alright. No one's keeping score. Yay. Except Kelvin. Mm. Mm. Oh, you guys know it's like cat ears? Yeah, I'm obsessed with their they're gem jeweled cat ears. Um, yeah, we'll vlog when we're there getting our breakfast slash brunch.
brunch on? I'm gonna take another nap. Yeah. You know what's amazing? I feel like my body is finally catching up on the sleep debt. Because of like how little I slept in the last like 10 days, the past like three where I haven't had finals, like I've slept probably like at least like 11 nine, hours a day. Nine, 10 hours, yeah. 11 hours a day. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a struggle. Crazy stuff. Like I'll sleep for 10 hours and still feel tired throughout the entire day. Ugh. All right. When we have food, we'll be back. Woo! All right, we're here. Kelvin looking fine. Yeah, look at him walk. Look at that strut. Look at that strut. We're going to Kang Kang Food Court. Pretty stoked to get these Sinjin bows and other stuff. He's so excited. Look at this. He's on a mission right now. It's on that mission. But yeah, so it's cash only. So we gotta get in this ATM business first. And then here we go. We have so many traditional Chinese dishes that I do not know of, cannot relate to. This is why Kelvin's here and his expertise. Uh, this is exciting. Last time I came here, I had no idea what I was doing. I had to like order everything in English. It was rough. But now Kelvin's here. So we're gonna watch him order instead. Okay, here they are, and they're so, so, so good. They're a lot bigger than I remembered. Is that, is that normal? Yeah. I'm not sure. Okay, but you gotta, you gotta eat it first. You gotta show, first of all, one, there's a technique. Because the first time I did it, I screwed up, and it was very embarrassing. Good thing I was in my car, and I ate it alone, because Kelvin wasn't there, because um, I was bringing them home. Wait, you gotta, yeah. So that's his, like, vinegar sauce thing. All right, so that, watch his technique. There's definitely a technique to this. His chopsticks are so weak. So he always is like that. Alright. Bites? Bites. Sucks the soupy juice. It's hot. Yep. 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 Get all that soup. It's very hot. Yep. Your lips are red. Oh, yep. You guys can see it. Look at that. That is like soupy deliciousness. So good. Yeah, and then wait. Once you're ready, take a bite and show them what's inside. Yeah, look at that. So, so, so good. Look, so I'm texting Richard right now, and he asked, Yeah, are you getting this in Jin Bao? So, is that, that's how it's spelled, right? But how did he know? I don't know. Yeah, so yeah, texting Richard because we're in like his neighborhood of where he lives. So, yeah, right, I'm gonna eat now because they look delicious. This is so good. It's so, I'm so full. It's so difficult. They're really filling. They're really filling, yeah. All the soupiness, the meaty, the doughiness. I'm so full. Oh, so good though. About to get back on the road. Alright, I'm here at the gas station. I have my cat ears back on now. Kelvin's there. About to pump some gas. So basically you have to start by doing your payments and stuff, but I have a rewards card, so I'm gonna do that first. Entered all my payment information, then you remove the nozzle. So first I gotta open this up. Gotta open my gas tank. Which looks like that. Then I remove the nozzle. Go ahead and insert that. Select for me, I use um, 94 or 91. 94. 91. Press that in. And make sure that's in securely. I don't know why I'm vlogging with my right hand. Makes it a little difficult. And there we go. And then I have it on like its auto thing. And now we just fill it up until it's full. So it's basically like you pump gas. So as you can see, the numbers are going. And I'm filling up my tank. And that's basically it. Then I just remove the nozzle, put it back, um, screw my cap on, close it, and then we're good to go. So it's pretty easy to pump gas. It's not really intimidating once you like get the hang of it. So we're back on the road, Kelvin's playing some Hearthstone, so I'm going to do a little single driving vlogger right now. Um, we're going to be winning in Hearthstone though. So it says it's going to take us about 3 hours and 10 minutes to get there, which is amazing! Because every other time I've gone there's always been mad traffic, so I'm super happy about this. I'm a little tired. Well, oh, yep, there you go. Um, but I'm fine. Good. Listen to some music, so took a little break. Um, can't play music right now while I'm vlogging. One, you won't be able to hear me, and two, I'll get copyrighted, so that's no fun. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying to do a longer vlog for you all. Everyone keeps okay. I love you all so much. Trust me, I do. 
but when every single comment is like the same thing for like five videos like trust me you guys I read your comments I know you guys want long vlogs and I will try but like this is probably like one of the only times I can do a long vlog like this because you guys want like 60 minute driving vlogs but like in reality I'm not gonna drive around for 60 minutes like just wasting gas you know driving around in circles so I hope you guys will understand that and like will watch my vlogs like for what I just do on like a normal basis this vlog can be long because I'm driving from like Vegas to LA but like you know you guys gotta you guys gotta stick with me like you know just please remember I'm also a person I also have a life and I'm not just gonna drive around for an hour and waste a lot of gas and money <laughs> Um, but I do love you guys and I try to give you what you want, but you please also like be considerate and keep me in mind as well You know like I'm trying my best But there are limits to what I can do. So that's why I'm trying to do this super long vlog for you all um, Especially dedicated this vlog is dedicated to Danny and Stella. I have all this stuff like right behind my seat We're gonna be um, Kelvin and I are gonna try um, all the foods, the Hawaiian stuff you've sent us, so we'll eat that in a little bit, but since we just had brunch, uh, we're not gonna eat that yet. We'll probably do that when we're like in the desert in the middle of nowhere. Right now we're still like, we're in the outskirts of LA, so. But yeah, just keep that in mind. It's gonna be super, super fun. Very exciting. I can't wait to try those pineapples, Danny. They look so awesome. Those chocolate covered pineapples. It looks so good. Yeah, making our way downtown to Vegas, woo! Um, okay, if I remember correctly, I was looking at some driving vlog topics earlier. Kelvin has some on his phone, but those are for both of us, so we'll do that in a little bit. Okay, yeah, it's real Ontario. Okay, we said that a while ago. Um, but I remember, yeah, I was looking at a couple, um, driving vlog questions from previous comments, and I don't remember who said this, but they asked about road rage, and they asked about, like, merging, and, like, using a blinker. Um, a lot of you are super young, so clearly you haven't, like, started to drive, and so you guys asked me a lot of questions about driving. Um, I didn't drive until I was 18. Yeah, so I didn't start driving until I was 18. Um, no, not even. 19. I didn't start driving until I was 19. My dad didn't let me until I was 19 years old. So I've only been driving for like two years, but you get used to it really, really easily. Um, at first it is scary driving. Like I remember when I was driving like 30, 40 miles seems so fast. Like right now I'm going like 85 and it's like nothing. So you definitely get used to it. Um, yeah, I remember the first time I drove on like a main road and it was 45 miles per hour. And I was like, oh my God, this is so fast. Oh, I was like terrified, but it's just something you get used to. Um, in regards to road rage, yes, I do have some road rage, as you might have known from some of the vlogs. Um, I don't know, it's just like, you know, you try to do your best, you try to be safe and abide by the speed limits, and like, still making sure you're going with like traffic flow. Like, if the speed limit is like 65 and you're going 50, there's something wrong with you. You should not be on the freeway. Like, it's just, things like that will bug me. But. Try to be as sane as possible. Um, and then in regards to merging, merging was definitely like, and like switching lanes was definitely the hardest thing for me when I was driving or learning to drive. Um, just because it was scary, like to like merge in different lane when the like this is like the time that you could be hit the most. It's like you gotta check your mirrors, you gotta check like to make sure there's a car behind you. It's just a lot. I have to get this cat headband. It's kind of like restricting my head, my blood flow. But, um, yeah, but once you get the hang of it, it's, like, pretty easy. Like, it's pretty, it's pretty easy. Um, I'll do a vlogging segment when we go into the mountains. So you can see what that looks like. Right now we're not in the mountains. So right now it's just lame. We're just on a normal freeway. I'm in the carpool lane, so literally all you guys can see is, like, this wall behind me. Um, but it'll be cool later when we go into the mountains. So I'm just going to give you little updates here and there, but there's nothing really to talk about right now. Kelvin will join me in a little bit. We'll, um, for some the vlog questions, we'll try the food later, do a little pit stop later, as well as show you the road. So, update in a sec. Hey guys, totally driving and vlogging right now. Just kidding. I'm in the passenger seat. So, Kelvin's taking over for me. He's wearing my sunglasses as well. Rocking them. Do you want me to take them off since we're not facing the sun anymore? Amazing. Yes. 
Um, but yeah, so these cones taking over for me. I'm a little tired. Um, it's been like an hour and a half, so I'll let them drive for like half an hour, and then I'll be back and good. It's really like there's some parts where I just get really bored of driving, but later when we go into the mountains, that part's fun for me. So there's the open road. Can I drive it? Let me sit here. Yeah. I have no idea where this camera is pointed. Hopefully, <laughs> you can see us both. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, yeah, my like a camera does have to pop out LCD screen, but you can't do it once on the mount to my car. Like you can't pop that out. So we don't know where we are. It's probably a little to the. Probably a little. It doesn't matter. Uh, it's fine. I'll scoot it. Okay. Um, we're gonna do some questions that you all left us. I just took a little nap. So okay. Wait, I think it's definitely like a little. It's like basically all on you, I think. Let's go with that. Oh, wait, I meant to run this way. Oh. And the other way. Yeah, that looks more like it. Okay. So this question is from Edwin. He says... I'm very interested about electrical engineering computer science. Oh, and computer science. Uh, I have a few questions. I mean, I responded to him because he said if I get rejected from electrical engineering, do I also get rejected from UCLA? But I told him it's different with engineering because there's a school of engineering and then we have this letter, like the College of Letters and Science. Now, for basically all the UCs, you apply to um, certain majors. So, like on your on your application, it's going to say choice one, two, and three, and then within the choices, you can choose. Um, you can choose engineering majors, and they're going to be labeled as like HSSEAS, which stands for Henry Samueli School of Engineering and Applied Science. And it's going to say that, and then it's going to say like electrical engineering or computer science or whatever. Um, and if you re get rejected from one program, they um, and you get into another, in your letter they'll say you are ex accepted to this program. And obviously they're gonna to try to match you up with like your highest choice, but if not, then yeah. Like one of my friends, he didn't get into an engineering major, but he did get into math, which he, which is what he ends up doing. Is it Jake? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, he originally applied for engineering. Yeah, there you go. Well, now you know. Um, Rachel Walker asks, can you please talk about your majors and coursework? I mean, Kelvin already touched upon it, <laughs> but you should elaborate on like how you're double majoring and stuff. Oh, okay, so basically, um, I was pretty lucky because uh, at my high school, we're right next to a community college, and some of the professors that taught at the community college were also teachers at the high school. So basically how it worked is all we had to do is fill out this little form and we could get college credits for, um, for high school classes. Usually, you're only allowed to get credit um, uh, for certain AP classes, uh, but that's pretty limited. Uh, it gets you out of a few courses, um, but yeah, it's usually the lowest level that um, the college will offer. Uh, so it, with AP plus the community college courses, I ended up not having to take math, even though I'm in engineering, which is like, I think eight courses or something, Ugh. eight math courses. I didn't have to take chemistry. So I ended up having a lot of extra space in my schedule. Um, so I decided to, to add on another major, which is economics. And basically how it works is in the engineering school, um, as long as you can uh, complete the courses you need, they don't really care what you do. Um, and then you just go into letters of science and say, okay, well, here's, uh, here's what else I want to do. Uh, what do I need to do to fill out my major application form? And they'll give you that. You take those courses, assuming you do well, you put in the paperwork and everything's fine. It's a little more complicated the other way around, trying, trying to get into engineering. Um, they have very strict standards. Yeah, it's just a lot more prestigious and just harder, yeah. more rigorous. They have a lot, they're a lot more strict, um, but it's definitely possible. I have heard of people doing it. Um, yeah, in terms of coursework, I mean, uh, South Campus stuff is definitely like, it's very, uh, it's, it's all STEM, right? So it's a lot of like doing problems, it's a lot of, uh, it's not up for interpretation, let's just say that. Yeah. Um, North Campus. Uh, That's what I am. I, I mean, I'm taking Econ, which is like the least North Campus major there is, because it's still yeah. all math. But uh, in general, like at least the classes, they feel they feel less like go, go, go. 
is engineering, you basically, like from, you spend around 10 minutes on the first day going over the syllabus and it's all right, okay, lecture, your homework's due next week, go. Well, North Campus has basically like all the social sciences. Um, so things like English, um, psychology, um, sociology, political science, which that's what I am, poli-sci major. And yeah, so that's kind of like what North Campus is considered at UCLA. You have North Campus and South Campus. But basically at North Campus, yeah, it is different. It's a lot more reading, a lot more essay writing, a lot more just interpretation and how you argue things, how you structure, like, you know, just arguments basically, and how you interpret things in a way that makes sense. It's a lot of arguing and understanding and then arguing back type thing. Um, from my personal experience as a poli sci major, but yeah, I'm just one major. Uh, I was gonna do some minors, but since I was a transfer, I just ended up not having time because I started doing some uh, minors at UCSD, but a lot of those didn't transfer over to UCLA, like to, to fulfill ma minor requirements here. So I lost out on doing a minor, but it's all right because I transferred and that's ultimately what I really wanted to do. I feel like North Cam from campus professors also care a lot more about you. Yeah, oh, 100%. Like for me, like what I've noticed, like North Campus professors are like, they're always like pretty encouraging, like before finals, they'll be like, yeah, good luck guys, you're almost there. Um, and then you have like South Campus professors that are like, okay, here's your work, like, do it. And then you have like dedicated, like, like classes that are only in the engineering department. And those professors, like, ha <laughs> ha! If you come to them with a stupid question, they're gonna tell you it's a really stupid question. They're probably just gonna tell you to leave. Scary! Yeah, I prefer, I, well it depends. Like I have I had a law professor who she really didn't care about it. Yeah, I was just like, if you don't get it, work harder, read it again. Yeah, that's pretty, much, that's pretty much like the average yeah. attitude. And then I have some professors that are like, yeah, if you have any questions, come on officers, we'll chat, we'll talk and stuff, so. Yeah, okay. Josh Lee has a question. Um, for both of us, would you guys, to both of you, to both of you guys, what would you rather choose? A school better for your major or a school that fits your, that fits you environmental wise? Oh, well, that's kind of tough. For me, easy environmental like wise. Like that's why I transferred from uh, UCSD to UCLA. Uh, to be fair, I loved UCSD's political science department much more. Like I think, I honestly think it's much better than UCLA's. Like if you're going for poli sci, I think UCSD much stronger school than UCLA just because the course was the courses were a lot more unique the professors cared a lot more they were just better overall I feel like I feel like I learned a lot more at UCSD but the environment didn't fit me right in regards to like social life um, extracurricular activities career aspirations just everything wasn't right besides like my major which is great but there's so much more to college than that like I'm at UCLA and even though the classes aren't as interesting as the ones at UCSD I'm still learning a lot I'm still getting a lot done with my major but I have so many more opportunities um, due to my environment you know I also met a lot of really amazing people um, at UCLA so um, in my opinion like it really depends on the major that you're yeah. like yeah that you're like going for because uh, like if you're in like business or something uh, I would 100% go with the prestige like, I really wouldn't care like where the school was um, because with business schools it's very much who you know no it's not even like oh, yeah. who you know but like in order to get into a good business school you have to come from like a strong background and if you're strong on paper like unfortunately that gives you like a much bigger advantage than but but see, some would argue, like myself, I would argue that with business, it's literally just the networking. It's who you happen to meet, who happens to open a door for you, who happens to give you this internship, who happens uh, to, you know, give you this first job opportunity. And I don't that's think where so. You like, if you, if you want to work on Wall Street, there are only six... Well, see, that's what? There's different there, types of businesses. There are only six heavily recruited business schools, and those are the top six. And if you can get into one of those versus someone else, like... No question. Go See, that's that Wall Street. Like, I wouldn't want to work for Wall Street. Like, I wouldn't well, care. I'm saying, but like, that's like it depends on the. That's type like of a business. clear advantage. That's a clear, obvious advantage. But obvious, if you're like going to like, if it's if it doesn't give you like a like a distinct like yeah advantage, then definitely choose like what school you think is the best suited for you. 
like if you're deciding between like UCLA, UCSD, those schools are um, generally pretty similar, I'd say, in terms of in terms of prestige. Uh, I can't I can't think of anything that's like too drastically different. Oh, I guess yeah. I guess if you're into like business, UCSD has a formal business major versus UCLA. No, it doesn't. Really? No. It doesn't. Are you serious? Yeah, it's a business minor. Oh. Okay, well, even more. Like, in that case, like, something like that, like, it's pretty similar, but, um... I mean, well, you said we have the entrepreneurship minor. I guess, but, yeah, business, I don't, yeah, business is very, you gotta have the, you gotta have the paper. You should first. definitely do your research, though, regardless, for your major, or, like, um, in, like, in, like, what kind of environment you want for your college experience, you definitely should do your research. Talking to people that go there, figuring out, it was a little difficult for me since I, I was the first person in my family go, to go to college, so I didn't have a lot of help besides, like, and the class, like, my friends in the class before me who were older, most, like, 95% of them stayed in Las Vegas, so I couldn't even ask them about going out of state, so when, when it was my turn, my class... Um, we went out, like literally my friend group, like I think nine out of ten of us all went out of state. So You had ten friends? That's so many. I have no I what how do I get some? The SAS level! No, I'm being dead serious. Well basically How do I get some friends? You make friends. I wanna be able friends. to say nine out of ten. Oh my gosh. Basically yeah, we all went out One of state. One out of two just doesn't sound very impressive. Yeah. Alright, all right, next question. We have three more questions. Alright, Mitra asks, what country would you two like to travel to together? Together? Together! We mentioned Japan, because like sushi, udon, ramen, Japanese culture, food, yum. Um, we've also talked about Santorini, which is in Greece. since like last time with MJ um, and it was like really crazy dark. Can't find it? All right, anyways, the sun is setting. Not really, but kind of, look how gorgeous that is. Dang, so pretty. But uh, yeah, so this rest stop is like, it's really- You don't have really, the camera. What? Yeah, you don't have it. But yeah, this is a super really cute, nice rest stop. 
got the little picnic tables for the snackins. And uh, yeah, he needs to take this little rest stop, use the bathroom, and then head back on the road. All right, well, we back. I'm back driving. And uh, Kelvin is now gonna help me. We're gonna, again, this vlog is dedicated to Danny and Stella of our Infinity family, and they sent us these amazing sacks. So we're gonna try them on camera for you so you can get a reaction. So, first, we have, so we have three. Wait, can you show them all three of the things first? So okay, so the first thing is 100% Hawaiian grown macadamia nuts, uh, combination of them with multiple different flavors. Second thing is, wow, this looks beautiful. Um, these look like Hawaiian biscuits, shortbread cookies. Yummy. Yeah, this looks this looks amazing. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, these are beautiful. Um, and the last thing is, which I'm most excited for, chocolate covered pineapple. Pi dull pineapple, dull pineapples from Hawaii. Oh my gosh. Sounds delicious. Okay, what do you want to do first? All right, whatever. We'll do the, whole pi the pineapples last. I'm not excited. And those are like fruity, refreshing. You know, let's okay. do it. Let's do it last. You uh, let's let's go first. with the macadamia nuts. All right. Macadamia shortbread. But uh, have you, you, have, you haven't been to Hawaii, right, babe? I have. Never mind. Kelvin's been to Hawaii. I haven't been to Hawaii yet. My dad's been to Hawaii. He might want to. Oh, have, like, these are cookies. Room. They have multiple flavors. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. My Show the camera. God. Show the camera. Okay, yeah, so I'm it's excited. like a lot of cookies, and they all look amazing. Okay, what are the different types? So they come in multiple different flavors, and those flavors are, uh, let me find the macadamia nut milk, pineapple milk, Kona mocha, di Kona mocha dark, and coconut dark. What was the first one? Macadamia nut milk. Ooh, I want that one. I want that one. Alright, um... Unfortunately, I can't exactly tell which one's which. Amazing. <laughs> are, there no, are there no pictures? Uh... Let me look at like three different ones and see the difference. I don't think there are pictures. Right, well. Oh! Yeah, I think we're just gonna have to guess and check here. Alright, let's do it. There... Wait, I think I've had those before. They look familiar. Okay, so this one is, looks like a milk chocolate. So this is either the macadamia nut or the pineapple milk. Oh yeah, that's like a dark bitter, 
like this is bitter are you serious yeah this is so sweet are you kidding me right now it's like black coffee to me. are you kidding what wait here's some water let's see number of people in this car that have water. not drank dark coffee me clearly Probably my favorite, yes. Um, the mocha was very good. Um, I'd probably go, yeah, mocha and then pineapple and then the coconut. Really? Okay. Yeah. I can't get this back into the packaging, but it's fine, I guess. All right. <laughs> now the super nice box. My God, this thing's beautiful. Going downhill, so I have all like the pressure in my ears. I make my ears pop. We're going down like 50 feet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pop. Wow. These are. Oh my God, these are amazing looking here. What? There's like 50 kinds. All right, we're definitely not trying all of these. This is like so much. All right, what do you pick one? I don't know. All right, I'm picking you. Wait, you gotta read them. All right, okay, read the different types. So in this box, there are a lot of cookies. I'm not sure if it has all of them, but here's what's on the booklet. Pineapple macadamia, mango macadamia, Ooh. passion fruit, mango, Ooh. dark chocolate passion fruit, Butter macadamia, chocolate shit, chocolate Sorry, dipped macadamia, sense. dark chocolate dipped macadamia. There's a okay. There's a lot of macadamia. There's like every single variety of macadamia basically. And then there's Kona coffee, dark chocolate Kona coffee, white chocolate Kona coffee, uh, coconut and white and dark chocolate coconut, and chocolate chip macadamia. That's so much. Yeah. Wait, is that all in there? Uh, if not all, like the majority of them are in here. What do you want to try? I don't know. I feel like we already ate a lot of cookies. Just try like two. Let's just try like two. Let's try a lot of cookies. Let's do this one. This looks like some, some sort of some sort of white chocolate. Ooh! It's got a little red in it. What do you think? It's like passion fruit in there? Oh, it's minty. Ooh! It's like peppermint. Peppermint cookie. Mm -hmm. Was that? Did you read peppermint in there? No, these are the signature flavors. This must be some sort of holiday box. Mm. Yeah, it's peppermint. Wow. That's good though. I like that though. Yeah. My ears keep popping. We're just going downhill right now. Yeah, let's see what I can show them. Just going down this huge canyon hill. But yeah. Alright, turn it back around, let's do this. Um, yeah, that was good. You wanna do one more? And then we'll do the pineapple. Just wait for it to try. Alright, I'm gonna do one of the signature ones. So Ooh, it's okay. gonna be 
mango macadamia. Ooh. Wait, no. This is pineapple. This is pineapple macadamia. It's the first one in the list, so it should be pretty good. You can't even get any of the pineapple. Oh, it's a really good shortbread cookie. It's very buttery. Oh, this is. This reminds me of a. Uh, of this Asian thing. It's like a pineapple tart. It's like a oh, pineapple, no, not pineapple tart. It's like a little pineapple um, filled pastry. Mm. Tastes good though, yeah. That's really good. Wait, side note, look, this is our solar farm. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. Can you see it? It's pretty far. Yeah. This is like just a solar farm, so there's like miles of like just solar panels. Wait, can you see it, babe? Yeah. yeah. Yep, that's our solar farm. The cookies are so good. That was really good. Oh my, I'm putting it away. This is dangerous. Oh my god. Thank you, Stella, Danny, Randy, and Tan. You guys are amazing. Now we're gonna try the, what I'm most excited for, the chocolate covered pineapples. Let's go and get that. All I have thumbs up. all over myself. I hope you realize this. <laughs> good God. This is so good. That's ridiculous. Oh, my hair has water. I'll wash it out for you to have pineapple. Mm. We're 45 minutes from the dog rescue, so we go do that. Which that will be very they do fun. They cats too. Um, they don't. The, the like the organization I work with, no, they don't do cats. But there's sometimes cats there from like a different organization. They're called um, Heaven Can Wait. That's the cat one. Oh, yeah. Mine that's is the, so... the one I volunteer as Friends for Life for the Heaven dogs. Can Wait. Yeah. They're so cute. Yeah, it's really cute. They're like old ladies that run it too. How's that not break you up? How's that break you up? Wait, show you yeah, show the packaging. Look, it's dull though. That's the best part. It's dull chocolate covered pineapples. All right, it's actually taped shut, so I'm gonna have to get cut keys. it open. I got the keys, keys, keys. I got the keys, keys, keys. Major key. Anyways. Not embarrassing yet. Tell me I'm embarrassing. Only to the whole world. Woo! All right. Never mind, it's taped on the other side too. Look, we can see Nevada. See the state line there? What state line? All those casinos? <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting like a line. Nah, you mean all those casinos? Yeah, because that's when gambling. That, that, that's what the state line looks like. <laughs> casinos, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we'll vlog. If he doesn't get that open in time, we'll show you like the state lines you guys can see. The cool side says, Welcome to Nevada, you're leaving California, and then a bunch of casinos. And then that's it. And then we drive, you won't get to Vegas for like another 35 minutes. But okay. And so people you don't want to wait, you can gamble, and there's a shopping mall if you want to shop and eat. Ooh, it's open. Wait, smell it first. Smell it, smell it. Oh wait, can we get closer to my face? That is rich. Ooh, yeah. It's a dark chocolate. All right, so I'll try these and I'll tell them what they think. You, I'll give a few. I'll give one to you like once we get to. Yeah, okay. Well, eat it, eat it, try it. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Tell me. Like once we get to no, no. Sorry, my arms aren't long. <laughs> this is dangerous. I, give me, give me, give me, give my me. My arms aren't very. This long. is so dangerous. Stop it. Uh, Bam! I'm driving. Feed me. Uh, so close. Uh, oh my god. But yeah, they're like Whoa. very like. 
A lot of times dark chocolate feels like thin, kind of. Like it's kind of thin and flaky, but this is like very, rich. very rich. And um, honestly, it's mostly chocolate. There's like yeah. a little like pineapple like chunk inside, but it's yeah. mostly chocolate. I was like, wait, where's the pineapple? And, there it is. Yeah, no, it's pretty interesting because you bite into, you get chocolate, you chew, you chew, and then the pineapple sort of mixes itself <laughs> in, and you get like a pineapple-y sweetness. Yeah. And then it goes back to chocolate. Yeah. It like eases out. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah. Definitely not something I would like sit down and eat a whole box of. That's probably a good thing. Yeah, yeah. these are super rich, super good. They're delicious. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. This vlog is dedicated to you. So, all right, wait. Tell us going to show you guys the state line now. All right, so apparently this is what a line looks like. Here's the state line. Welcome to Prim. It's the first. Um, yeah, see, you have a lot of stores. This is the California side because in Nevada you can't buy large tickets. So see, this is right on the other side. It's in California. See a sign that says, Welcome to Nevada. And then the, literally the line, bam, and all the casinos because gambling's allowed. But yeah, lottery tickets aren't allowed. So as you can see, the closest place you can get lottery tickets is out here. So a lot of times, like when those like big lotteries get huge, like the mega bucks or whatever. Um, people from Las Vegas will drive all the way out here to California, that state line, that one lotto shop, and buy lottery tickets. It's hilarious, actually. And apparently, Buffalo Bill has a resort slash casino now. Yeah. So yeah, there's a bunch of uh, all these. <gasps> Look, EDC billboard. No, they can't see. That's way too small. All right, we're gonna wait for it to come up. EDC billboard. Okay. Yeah, so you can see it's still just more desert now. It's about 35 minutes till we're like in Vegas. So we'll go ahead and update you then. Alright guys, so we made it to Vegas. Woo! There's the Luxor, there's Mandalay Bay. Those are all the billboards for the nightclubs. That's how you know you're here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How's it feel to be home? It feels good. It really does. So yeah, we're heading to Friends for Life Humane Society's um, adoptions. They do adoptions on the weekends here in Vegas. They're really from Pahrump. So yeah, we're gonna go visit. I'm so excited. I haven't seen them since summer, so. Woo! All right, so we're here at Friends for Life. We're starting to clean up, but yeah, this is where I volunteered for over like seven years. It's just insane. Oh, baby. Antonio, you see a little chair? You just got fixed, huh? You got a little cone of shame, huh? Oh, it's no shame. There's no shame. Hi, Trinity. Hi. All these dogs are like new, so I don't really know them that well. So I'm kind of like, who are you? Who are you and what are you doing? So, yeah. Kelvin's here with uh, Nuffy. <laughs> Oh, yep, I designed these little name tags or like the little things. I designed all the cards. It's been a long time. It's crazy. It's crazy indeed. And Calvin, what, what did you say this guinea pig was? So fat. So fat? So fat. So fat. There's literally <laughs> yeah. five. We have some guinea pigs over here. We got some naked oh, guinea pigs over here. Give me uh, Amazing. I'm just gonna make some copies. Yeah, oh, yeah. they're 20% off. Yeah, Amazing. 20% off naked guinea pigs. <laughs> yep. Alright, so we're home now and wait go, you have to go inside. Wait, go inside. Close the door, she's gonna know it's me. Okay, right, so we're gonna Oh, there she goes, there she goes. There she goes. Oh, she's barking at Kelvin. She's barking at Kelvin. Barking at Kelvin. She's barking at Kelvin. so scared like, she's like who is this who I don't remember you do I remember you maybe oh there we go oh she looks for me oh she's gonna look for me she's gonna look for me where am I oh I think she's gonna pee first yep <laughs> oh and you can see all our holiday lights Here's all mine and Kelvin's stuff. She's well, sniffing no, around. No, 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 this is this is my stuff. <laughs> the rest of it is her stuff. Yeah, and uh, ooh, look what I got. Oh, what are these? 
What are these? Begging strips. Hey, Kelvin, you want one of these? Me and you will just eat these. Me and you will just eat these. Yeah? Wait, can you open it? Oh, they smell so good. They smell like peanut butter and bacon. Hey, we'll just eat these, right? We'll just eat these. No, 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 no. Not for peaches. Not for peaches. Not for peaches. No, none for peaches. Peaches, no. Peaches already so fat. Look at that. Peaches already so fat. No, don't give her one. No, don't give her one. Give me one. I'm gonna do some tricks. You want a little something? Why are you licking my hands? Wait, can you break this? We want a little bit. It's just, we don't want to give her too much. Yeah, that's perfect. Wow, it smells like peanut butter and uh, bacon. I know. We're gonna do. No. Come here. That's it. No, nope. stay there. Lay down. No, I didn't say roll over. Oh, I did not say roll over. I just said sit. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. No. Lay down. Lay down. No, no, not roll over. Lay. No, no, no. <laughs> so excited. Here, Kelvin. No. Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, sit. Sit. Hey. <laughs> She's so happy. She's so happy. All right, that's it. That's it. Can you lick my fingers? No? You go look ah, I go back to Kelvin. You know he has the bag. Hmm? What? It's like no no no, he's got the bag. I'm gonna just sit next to him for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, so we gotta get to unpacking. My dad's bringing us home food, so yeah. Alright, so my dad just brought us food. We're watching Sausage Fest and uh, my dad got us some barbecued pork. This is the kind with the bone in. This is the kind without the bone and then some duck, roasted Chinese duck. Yeah, we got some brown rice. Let's go. Look at what's happening. I feel so left out. <laughs> Peach juice is over. So Kevin's just doing this for like a good 5-10 minutes now. So she's kind of like over it. She's like, alright. I've been thoroughly licked already. Yep, his face is covered in saliva. Peaches saliva, for clarification. <laughs> I'm so, lay down. She's like, eh, I've been doing it. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I had, I've been charging my camera battery because it was dying. So, sad news guys, my camera battery does not allow for long vlogs because my camera battery only lasts for I think like 30-40 minutes. So, we'll go outside. Just go outside. Alright, so we just finished watching uh, Secret Life of Pets. What did you think of the movie? It was good. It was, it was really good. cute. Yeah, it was super super cute. Um, I liked all the funny little details they had. That part, like every like little, part, like every little scene had something cute about it, something little, like a little detail if you were like paying attention. So like that, but it was yeah, it's just a kids movie. Um, no deeper, strong meaning like Zootopia, but it's still really cute. Um, Peaches is here. Yep, all our little fits. You know, fat pockets. You know, fat pockets. You like Kelvin, huh? You like Kelvin, huh? <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and edit the vlogs. We'll see how long this is. Uh, and then I'm all, we're gonna place like some Hearthstone. And then, yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, it's already 11, so. Hope you all enjoyed hanging out with us today. She is. Kisses. Kisses. My face is so wet now. Yep. Right. So I hope you all enjoyed today with us. And we'll go ahead and talk to you all tomorrow. Bye. I'm going to sleep with peaches. Probably will. <laughs>